Greetings everyone, this is part four in my video podcast series on stoichiometry. So now I'm going to throw in another type of, of quantity that you're going to come across, and that's going to be liters of gas. So we're going to start off and do the, the problem the exact same way we've been doing it. We're going to get our balanced equation. Uh, so it says ammonia is produced by reacting. Okay, so ammonia is produced. So I'm going to make ammonia by reacting its constituent elements with each other. So what makes up ammonia? Nitrogen and hydrogen. But remember, Brinkelhoff, these guys come as a two-pack, diatomic. So here's my reaction. I need to balance it now. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm looking over here. I need twice as much here for nitrogen. That gives me six hydrogen, which means I need three of these. Okay. So here's my balanced chemical equation. This is my recipe. All right, so now I'm going to look at um, known quantities. So it says if 1.53 moles of nitrogen, so I'm going to go ahead and write that, 1.53 moles, N2, is my given quantity, is reacted with hydrogen, how many liters at STP of ammonia will be formed? Okay, well it says how many, uh, and then it says liters of ammonia gas, which remember is just NH3. So question mark liters and H3. Okay, well we're going to try our best to do, uh, to, to get to this question, but we're going to need something else, and I'll introduce that in a second. So in order to go from one quantity to another, we always have to go through the mole, that mole to mole ratio. So I'm going to go ahead and convert from moles of N2, I'm already at moles, so that's really nice. Then once I'm moles of N2, then I need to go to moles of NH3. Then once moles of NH3, I need to somehow get to liters of NH3. Alright, so step three uh, on your on your handout actually tells you to find the moles of the unknown quantity. So I'm going to go ahead and do it a little bit differently and the reason why I'm doing it differently is because later on you may want um, to stop halfway through the problem. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So I take 1.53 moles of N2, and I take my starting quantity. And the next step is going to be to get it to moles of NH3. So I want to get to moles of NH3, get rid of my moles of N2. OK, so I'm going to use my, uh, my, my recipe to go from moles to moles. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the fact that for every two moles of NH3 I make, it took me one mole of N2. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and write out what this is. 1.53 uh, times 2 is going to give me 3.06 moles of NH3. Now I could stop here once I have moles of NH3 and I could go to really any quantity that I wanted. I could go to grams, I could go to um, moles of something else. I can really do anything with this. The reason why I did this moles here because when we learn about uh, limiting reactants, which is something we're going to learn about in a couple a couple days, you're going to actually be able to use this mole of of a product um, really easily. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this problem out. We need to go to liters here. If you wanted to, you could have just left this all out and just stacked on another conversion factor. Hey, I could have left all of this in here out and just kept multiplying like we did in the last example, but I just wrote it out uh, so that I have that number available. And any way you do it is fine. So I have my moles of NH3, and so now I need to get to liters of NH3, and I want to get rid of moles of NH3. Okay, so what's the conversion between liters and moles? It says something about STP. When we get to gas laws, we're going to learn that this stands for standard temperature and pressure. So at standard temperature and pressure, if I were to take any gas, and if I had one mole of that gas, and I put it in a balloon, okay, one mole of any gas, even ammonia, it would fill up a volume of 22.4 liters if it was at standard temperature and pressure, which is uh, 25 degrees Celsius and one atmosphere of pressure. So what this means is if for every one mole of any gas 
it's going to take up a volume of 22.4 liters. We can use this equivalent statement. 22.4 liters for every one mole. So now I can take my 3.06, multiply it by 22.4. Notice I still have three sig figs, and we should get a final answer of 68.6 liters NH3. So now we can use, um, if we're given liters as our quantity, we can convert to and from liters using this conversion factor here. All right, uh, now you are going to be able to do question number four from the homework, and I hope this was helpful.